Hello everybody, Eric here from Bloat Games. Uh, just wanted to make a little video today. I'm still a little under the weather. I don't know if you saw my last video, but uh, I'm working with my um, my, my deep uh, sexy man voice. Um, but what I wanted to make a review about is I got in another um, retro clone um, that I thought had a very unique um, and very cool uh, style to it and concept and you may be wondering why you're looking at a picture of Batman and the Joker um, the reason being is that the retro clone I got in is Guardians um, what Guardians is is it's from uh, Night Owl Workshops but uh, Basically, in fact, I'll turn it over here and I'll read the tagline because it, it, the tagline is what, what does it. What if the original game was inspired by colorful superheroes rather than token-esque fantasy? So what this is, is this is a, a what if um, TSR had put out, instead of putting out the original Dungeons & Dragons, had they put out something that was based on comic book superheroes, so a superhero game. Um... It's kind of neat. Here, let me give you that logo again. That's Night Owl Workshop. Um, they uh, they have done a couple different uh, editions of of games. Um, Night Owl Workshop. They did Guardians, which is the one I've picked up here. Um, they've also done Colonial Troopers. Um, they did Warriors of the Red Planet. So if you like Edgar Rice Burroughs, you know the. Uh, uh, the Princess of Mars, that type thing, you can play that. <clears throat> but uh, for me, superheroes are near and dear to my heart. So when I heard about this, I wanted to pick it up. I saw that they had it for print-on-demand through um, drive through RPG. Uh, it was $15. So I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot. I picked it up. It is a, a pretty small book. It clocks in just under 100 pages. Um and it's, it's it's a different size too. Most of the books that are print on demand that are OSR related come um, that you get in softback come in like the six by nine size. This is a little bit smaller than that. I, I'm not sure what sizing that they use, but it it is smaller than the standard ones. A couple of interesting things. I'm I'm not going to do a full review because I haven't had time to you know really play it. Um, but just looking over it, some of the interesting things that they do is your ability scores can now go not just to 18. Oh, no, 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 no. Can go all the way up to 101. And if you're following this chart here, down there where it says if you have a strength of 98 or 99, that means that you can lift the moon. So, <laughs> uh, pretty interesting. Um, it makes sense though. I mean, you know, characters like Superman, uh, definitely, um, would qualify for more than the strength of an 18. So, um, it also has, you know, it has different classes that you can do. Um, here's the bruiser, you know, which is just kind of big, bad fighter guy. You got um, super agents, you know, you got like your standard spies, your Captain Americas, your, your people like that. Um, power wielders, um, you know, they're going to be more of uh, people with powers, uh, your, your mutants, your aliens, your X-Men, things like that. Gadgeteers, so you know, you could make a, a Blue Beetle or Batman-esque type character. Um, but what they do is if like you're, if you they got what's called gifts and powers and so if you are a uh, normal human um, say you're playing Batman he wouldn't have any powers per se but he may have gifts so you can you know, might get the gift of detective um, you know for, for Batman I mean, the gift of leader uh, things like that um, and then you know the gift of rich <laughs> But then when you get to powers, powers are more ones that are for metahumans, mutants, uh, aliens, those type things. Um, 
you know, and they'll have all kinds of different themes that you can either row for or, or choose from. They also have superpowers. So there's kind of three, three power levels in this game from, from what I've been able to tell. You got your, you got your humans with gifts. Um, you got your, um, humans with power and then you got your or you, then you got your uh, characters with superpower so you know there's a way to to be able to scale and and you know for if you're running it to that you can say okay only people with powers can be in this campaign no superpowers things like that you know to make the game a little more balanced a little more fair um it goes through there is one of the things that I noticed on, you know, first flipping through it is um, the character classes, like, like the Gadgeteer um, and things like that, they all have um, art associated with it, but the art beyond that is very, very sparse. Um, you know, you'll go few and far between. Now, the art that is in here is decent decent art uh very very 19 you know early 80s uh uh reminiscent uh comic book style art um but but the art uh, is a little lacking they do have what would be like a bc area in the back which is you know a list of some villains that, that they got um ranging from you know um you know, like, uh, you could have a bad police officer, you know, one that's on the make. You could have creatures, um, that, like, are aliens and stuff. So, they got, they got different ones for different powers. They also have some tables as far as rolling, um, you know, to see who you're going up against. You can also have a, a base, which is one of the things I skipped over here. And, uh, it'll, you know show you where you where your headquarters is things like that so it's pretty neat um it it's very well put together it seems a little rushed there's a couple things i wish that they would expand it on but with that being said i think that had they done that it would have um taken away from the the intent which was to emulate what um uh tsr would have came up with if, if they had done superheroes instead of Dungeons and Dragons for, you know, the, the original edition. Um, I do wish there had been some more art. Uh, I, w I also wish that the, the section, because it begins and it does have a very nice, um, like table of contents, lays out exactly what's on what page. So you can just kind of, you know, look through, but a lot of the sections run together. So they didn't, they didn't break it apart. Um, you know, that much, so it's, without having a page, it's, it's hard to tell somebody, well, just turn to the power section, because all the text does kind of run together without, without there being something to break it up, or the art, um, you know, a chapter head or something like that, but again, I think that that was probably done on purpose to keep with the, the intent, which was, you know, just the, the what if, TSR made superheroes. So again, this is a uh, by Nial Workshop. You know, I recommend it's 15 bucks. It, it looks like it's going to be a good time. I may do a full review once I've had a chance to actually play it. Uh, but by all means, check it out. And if you're into, you know, the Princess of Mars, um, by you know, definitely you can check out their their uh, Warriors of the Red Planet. I did see that there's quite a few. Um, accessories for that game and colonial troopers online um on drive through rpg there's also some adventures was the only thing i found for guardians so there are some guardians adventures um that, that you can pick up relatively cheap in pdf form uh but that's all i have for you today just wanted to give everybody a little peek at that uh, in the meantime i hope everyone has a great weekend uh, if you liked what you heard please uh like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.